right, we will continue with the, uh, today's press conferences. Uh, we're joined now by Sam Houston men's coach Chris Mudge and Sam Houston student athlete Cameron Hoofner. Uh, coach, welcome to Huntsville. Look Thanks for having to, us. Look forward to having you guys back in March for the tournament. Um, just give us a general overview about your team and your expectations going into the new season, and then we will open it up for questions. Absolutely. Appreciate you having us. Uh, our team, we're very lucky. We have six high-level returners that have done a phenomenal job of keeping our player-led culture at the same level that it's been for a long time through our success. And they, every single day, are the best coaches, the best leaders, and the best examples that we have, which has made our development go faster because the new guys have somebody that they can look at and they, they do it right, and they're about the right things, and they're leading in a way that, uh, as coaches, we are really proud of. And I love the young men that we get to coach every day. We've got some talent in there. Obviously, you know, we'll see what it comes to. Uh, there's a lot of time on this journey and a lot of days we need to win between now and when we play our first game on November 6th and then the 9th and then just keep going and see by the time Conference USA play starts, I'm really excited about where this group can be because we have a lot of we have a lot of tools. We have a lot of guys who are coachable and are going to get better and are fun to coach every day. You know, not every day is the perfect day, but we can leave there and know that that we've got a tight family unit and that we love each other and that we're going to come back tomorrow ready to work. And so, it's been a fun group. It's been a great start to practice. We're getting everybody healthy slowly over time and. Um, and we'll see where we are here in a couple of weeks when it starts counting on the wins and losses. Question for Coach or for Cam? Talk to us a little bit about the transition to Conference USA and uh, just kind of what, what that entails for you and the program um, and, and just kind of, you know, just an overall look at that. Conference USA has been a, a step up in so many great ways for our program. Uh, for our department, for the university. It's been fun to see how much more national coverage we're getting, how much the reputation of Conference USA, wherever we go. I can go recruiting in Florida. I can go to California, been to the Midwest. And everybody around the country knows how good this conference is, not just in basketball, not just in football. They just know that as an entire league, it is one of the best mid-major plus leagues in the country. And that's been fun to be around. And then also these other programs that are involved are storied tradition programs from the basketball sense that have been really good, that have won for a long time, that have great coaches. And it's been an awesome challenge to get ready for, knowing that night in, night out, we're going to be playing against some of the better coaches in the country with great talent. And we're going to have to be ready for that. Well, how long is this press conference? Uh, so that 18 inches moving over seems like 18 miles on some days because it is remarkably different in the role that you have going from being um, a manager of things to the CEO of things. I've been really lucky to have worked for some phenomenal head coaches that I have learned from and been able to be an integral part of a lot of the decisions and a lot of the day-to-day -day things of what the program is going to do, which has prepared me to be ready for a lot of those things. And I think the, the laundry list of things that I've learned could go for a really long time, and I'm still learning every day. And I ask these guys a lot of questions to see what they think, because that's the most important thing. How is my organization, how is my leadership, how are they taking it, how is it helping them get better, and what can I do? Uh, and that's been a fun part of the learning process is a different kind of communication with our guys to see what is gonna help them the most in the future. The best thing that I know is that I've been able to uh, just be a part of high-level cultures with some really good coaches and really good players for a long time. And we've been able to continue that, and that's my number one goal as a head coach is to keep that winning culture that our players lead, and we've been able to do that so far, but need to continue to do that, and I will continue to be learning day to day 
how to make that the best I can make it tomorrow and then the next day and going forward through all the things that come to us. Um, it's been very enjoyable, actually. Uh, the, the jump that he's made is, is very noticeable. Uh, every day he comes in with 100% effort. There's no doubt about that. And uh, just being able to trust him, knowing that he's been here for a long time, uh, he understands the roots. And I've been here for, you know, almost second, my second year now. So uh, just trusting that process and the ideas that he has and uh, building that culture again coming back into the second year. Um, I'm very excited for this, this coming year. Coach talked about just the role that the, the returners are playing in this. And, you know, when you look at the group that y'all have coming back, uh, how big of a role is that for you guys to help in that transition? It's a huge role. Um, we've lost a lot of senior guys, and uh, we've had to kind of pick that up a bit. Like I said, we, we have six, new, six returners. We understand the culture and just trying to uh, give that little bit of toughness and stuff to the new guys coming in, trying to settle them in to understand, you know, what Sam Houston is. So, um, like I said, I'm very excited just to just to get going with with this guy. How excited are you about the move to Conference USA and kind of get to see some new teams and travel some new places? Yeah, it's always it's always fun to play new teams. Um, we, we played North Texas twice, technically, last year. We played them in a practice match and uh, in the NIT. So we have a good understanding of what Conference USA players like. And uh, I'm very excited to be playing against some bigger bodies, some better teams, better coaches, because obviously it just builds me as a player. Um, and just the spotlight is huge. You know, it's a, it's a jump from the WAC to Conference USA, so I'm very excited for that spotlight. Just an experience thing, learning, understanding. Uh, we did we did have a not so good game against North Texas in that NIT game, but uh, we can always go back to the drawing board and and build from that. Um, but yeah. I think first and foremost, it validated what our culture and our championship level that we do every single day, what it can create. And it created a team that not only earned an at-large into the postseason, but then won a game on the road against a really good team. And I think, if anything, it shows our new guys, it shows our returners that the way that we do things every day is for a reason. And it's to try to win championships and be able to win games in the postseason. And that's our goal. And it showed that we can do it. And I think it also helped our returners. You know, you asked Cam a second ago about our returners. They've been able to really step up because they have seen what it looks like in the postseason. They have seen what it looks like in a high-level conference tournament game that was really close that, you know, one ball didn't bounce our way. And they don't want that feeling again. And the same thing again in a high-level NIT, which is, you know, one of the longest storied tournaments in the country. And we were in it and played and ended up losing to the eventual champion of it. And that's the level that we want to be at. And so with our returners, they're able to say, that's where we got to get to because we've been there and we want to get back there and go farther, go do something even new and different. And I've seen our returners take on a leadership role that has helped them become better players and leaders naturally. I didn't have to ask these guys, the guys that are coming back, Say, hey, I need you to be able to speak up in practice. I need you to be able to talk to guys in the locker room, in the apartments. They've done it on their own, and in turn, it's really helped them blossom. I Cam, not just his game, but his leadership and his confidence has all come through the taking that step into that role. You know, like Cam said, we lost some guys that were unbelievable winners and leaders of our program. And naturally, our returners have stepped into that role very well, which the first day of practice, I knew we were going to be pretty good because they stepped up in the first drill. One of the guys said, no, you were a half inch short. We don't do that here. We're going to be just fine. And that's been really fun to see and excited to see where it goes, even as we keep playing games.
how do the new guys that have come in, when you're looking at your teammates, who is somebody that you think the rest of the country you're going to learn about very quickly amongst those guys that they don't necessarily know right now are part of this team? Uh, my guy, Marcus. What's his last name? Boy Boykin. Boykin? Marcus Boykin. Yeah, he's special. Um, he's come from a, a D2 in North Carolina, uh, and he's come to practice with high energy. He's he's very um, he's he's tough for sure. He comes in trying to win every game. We always talk after practice about you know winning every drill. He's got that mindset, and he, he's an insane scorer. He's a great guard. He shares the ball. He listens as well. So I think he's going to be on the map by the end of the year for sure. Coach, we got one, one more question here. Just a little bit about your non-conference schedule this year. It's, uh, I'm seeing Oklahoma State. I'm seeing Ole Miss. I'm seeing Arizona State. Whoever did scheduling for this team probably needs to be fired. <laughs> uh, but we've always liked to be tested at a high level to get ourselves ready because we know Conference USA is going to be one of the best mid-plus conferences in the country, and we're going to have to be ready, and we need to be tested on the road, at home, neutral sites, and we certainly did that. We have you know, the least number of non-D1 games we've ever had, but we're going to play some of the best. You know, even our mid-major games are against very successful teams, Grand Canyon, Missouri State, Troy, could go on and on, because we want to get tested, and we want to see how we're going to be in adversity against a difficult, disciplined, well-coached team, because we're going to see that every night in Conference USA. And so we wanted to build that in our schedule, and we've shown, especially you know, last year and years before, that we can go to some of those high majors and win and be able to play at that level. And this team is going to be able to do that as well. And we'll see how we rise to the challenge because we're going to get challenged every night. And that was, that was my goal in setting up this schedule, to be able to see what we're made of very early and to be able to build off of the successes, the failures, the growing pains, all those kind of things. Great. Thanks for your time today. We appreciate it. Um, and next up will be the women's team from Liberty University. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.